and we're gonna be making this salsa that is just so delicious that goes with a lot of different dishes and we wanted to go with the bread that we're making so yeah so we're gonna make a traditional Chilean salsa which is called Tancho en Piedra and this salsa is made in the stone mortar uh, like you see here um, the difference with uh, there's a, a traditional a salsa called pebre the one that we're gonna make is a little bit different it just doesn't have the onions um, and it's more like a, a, a paste that has uh, the merkel which is a traditional spice from southern chile mm -hmm. and we're gonna also incorporate that into our, our salsa and you are adding this amazing beautiful yeah so what they what they well. use uh, mm -hmm. in this salsa in chile are these uh, ch red chili peppers that are grown in, in southern Chile. Since we don't have them here, these are almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna take these, and we buy these at the grocery store. They come uh, dry, dry. Mm -hmm. so we have to hydrate them in water. So we just leave them in water overnight, and then this is what you get. So this is that one, and I opened it to remove the seeds, and then uh, these are the other two. And I also removed the seeds out of those. So we're gonna start with this. So we're gonna put this in the stone mortar. And everything it smells so delicious. This? Especially like the cilantro and the parsley and yeah. the tomatoes. And you know the ingredients are so important, so you get a really beautiful, delicious salsa uh, to use like really ripe um, tomatoes. Uh, so these ones are and we juicy. Got, we got these tomatoes from some friends from their yeah. garden. So mm -hmm. these are really nice tomatoes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with uh, some of the ingredients. Let's start with uh, the chili peppers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add the garlic. And then we're gonna add some coriander seeds. Mm -hmm. You can also buy that at the grocery store. At the grocery store. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. And then you can always, you know, balance mm -hmm. out once you have all the ingredients and then you can taste it and see if you need a little bit more oil or vinegar or salt and pepper. And since we have this, we're going to add the Merken spice to give it that really mm -hmm. Chilean flavor. Since I don't want to waste any of it, I'm just going to make sure I get it all in there. Okay, and then we're going to proceed to uh, grind it. Chancar. Mm -hmm. We're gonna chancar to make this uh, garlic and chili peppers and the salt and the coriander seeds really well in this uh, mortar. If you don't have one of these mortars, you can also use a food processor. Mm -hmm. But I've seen them around. Like I saw the other day at the store, it wasn't as big. It was kind of a little bit smaller, but it works anyway. Yeah, there's some wooden ones. Uh -huh. I like the stone ones. They're yes. really nice. Tancho en piedra. That's what mm -hmm. it's called. And if you translate that, like literally, it's like... Pig on a stone. Yeah, <laughs> pig on a stone. These peppers in southern Chile are called cacho de cabra. Mm -hmm. Also goat horn. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Yeah. Well, I want to try it when you're oh, ready to do the, you the tomatoes. Because I'm getting tired. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we got this paste. Okay, now what, we're, what are we adding next? So now we're going to add... Uh, we're gonna add the cilantro, okay. and we mixed uh, cilantro and parsley, half and half. Yes. So it doesn't matter how much you wanna use, just get a healthy dose of cilantro and parsley. Uh -huh. Let's just do that okay. right now, okay? Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna mix some lemon juice. Right, right so there. we have it over here. Just a little bit yeah, and to we'll give have, it the acidity. And we'll have all the recipe down below you know, in the description. So we'll have all of that there for you with exact uh, measurements. So, right? Yeah. All right. You can and put then some olive oil and let's some just vinegar. Some oil, oil. And then just a little bit of generous enough, you know, and then a little bit of vinegar. vinegar. Just like that. Okay, and then okay. we can mix the tomatoes. Alrighty, we're ready to mix the tomatoes. Well, so it's better to peel them and then grind the tomatoes without that. 
it will taste so much better. And one thing that I just remembered that I would like to add to this, if it's not too spicy, is some cayenne pepper. Some red cayenne pepper. Let me try this okay. first. To make sure it's oh, not that spicy. You. If it is. Because I'm going to die if it's like super, super spicy. <laughs> mm. oh, it's spicy, God. but it's good. Oh my gosh, this is just unbelievable. And yeah. It's spicy. <laughs> a little bit of spicy. Not too bad though. <laughs> but it's great. This is, it has like kick. The flavor mm -hmm. is just very strong, but so you I can... Don't, I don't think we're, I'm going to add any cayenne pepper. No. I think it's got enough kick. <laughs> <laughs> it has enough. Enough kick. Definitely. Time. And you can definitely balance that of how much... Mm -hmm. You add so the, instead of adding two red chili exactly. peppers, just add one yeah. and then add more as needed. Or half if you really want it kind of mild, just half of it. Yeah. What you don't have mechan. The way to make the mechan is uh, you, you crush the dry chili peppers, you put the coriander seeds and salt. And that's the mechan pretty much, but it's smoked. So the chilies are smoked. We just happen to have a little bit. If not, we would have made it. Beautiful. Well okay, done. So we're good with this uh, tantrum here. Yes. Yay!